Hi everyone, it's Kyle again. <coughs> let's get into some makeup and let's just have fun. Because that's what makeup's all about. But this one's called Shadow Box and it's by Urban Decay. I mean, I don't really have a rhyme or reason for why I'm doing any of this. I just grabbed some wine and I thought, hey, let's film a video. Do you ever feel that way? No? Oh, maybe it's just me. Ah! It is the Studio Finish Concealer Duo in NW20 NC25. I'm gonna use NW20. Let's take a flat little shader brush. I'm gonna pick up the blue. I'm gonna start by pressing it on the inner and outer corner. So I'm gonna start here. And really, I'm doing eyes first because there's going to be fallout and this is gonna be kind of a creative look. So if you know you're gonna have darker colors you're working with on your eyes or sparkly darker colors in general, I would do your eyes first. It's just gonna save you a lot of time. So following the natural shape of my eye around, connecting those bits up, and then just pushing the shadow into the base towards the center of the eye. Let's go in with Free Love, which is this color here, peachy sort of color. A little bit of Fix Plus, this one's super running out. Spritz your brush once it has the shadow on it. So taking that and just popping it right in the center. So this is called Bounce Around. It's a soft serve shadow from MAC. So I'm just taking it on my finger. Look how freaking blinding that is. And since this is kind of lackluster, I'm gonna press that over the top. Oh good, I have my Too Faced um, bronzer. This is the Chocolate Soleil. Oh, it smells like hot chocolate and I love it. On a fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and soften the blue. I just, I've only had one cup of, one cup, I've only had one glass of wine before this one, so I should be fine, but I've also worked all day, so I might be kind of crazy. <sighs> Does anybody else kind of sometimes like taste this bronzer? It kind of tastes good. Am I crazy? So let me clean up the edges and then we will move on to lower lash line and liner and all that jazz. I'll be right back. So I'm gonna take some of this, which I've been really liking. It's the Cranberry Toner by Arcana. Blend and blend and blend. Blending is a secret. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know what movie that's from? I don't know if I've ever said that in one of my videos. I probably have, because I love that movie. But you get extra cool points if you know what that phrase is from. So taking more moon shadow, I'm going to extend out this shadow in the same line it made when I cleaned it up. Um, I'm not sure if this color is still available, Stargazer, but um, if not, I'm sorry. And then we'll pick that guy up on our finger and I just want to intensify this middle part and see if we can get some life going on. Yes, there we go. So I'm gonna take the same palette. Ooh, I'm almost still my wine. I'm gonna take the same palette, black out this black color. It's a matte black. Just gonna put it on that same brush we were using for the blue. Just dust it off some of the blue. And I'm gonna pack that kind of starting in the same places where we started with the blue. So on the very inner and outer edge of where the stargazer just went. And let's highlight the brow bone with some Sin, which is this like champagne-y lightest color. And we will put a, oh, that's gorgeous. We'll put that right on the brow bone. Yeah, that's really pretty. This one I think has a little broken bristle on it. It does, it has several. We're gonna try and make her work. Okay. Let's pray that those little bristles do not ruin my eye. Okay, so I'm happy with that eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and um, do my brows and my base. And we will be back for the fun part. So have a drink, and I'll be right back. Um, if anyone's wondering, I'm wearing a pair of 
48 lashes on the top. Um, and we're gonna do something with the lower lash line, so it will be balanced. Chill out. So, I'm going in with this very well-loved Sheer Sculpting Palette by Fiona Styles in light medium. I'm gonna take it and use it how I normally would, so I always like to cut the tip. So right underneath here, oh god. Picks up a lot of product. And then I kind of like to, see that, I kind of like to round off, make a little ball. Oh, there's a hair on my nose, there's a hair on my nose. I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. Oh. So I'm taking a little bit more powder. I'm just pressing it on both sides of the brush. Let's go straight down the bridge. I'm gonna start it right where the eyeshadow starts up here. And just drag it back and forth on either side. I'm trying to make a narrow little railroad track. And we'll press it up higher. Just to pinch in that nose a little bit more. Correct any mistakes if it's gotten outside the lines there. Let's try this over here. Shit. A little bit on the temples, slash up by my hairline, basically. So I think we're good to go with brushing off this baking powder. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, fluffier one, and I just baked under my eyes. I a little, oh, I was gonna use this one. So double-ended brush I used for, uh, oh, I used it to highlight my bra bone. I'm gonna use the other side of it now. Just purple. And I'm just gonna open my eyes and look down. Ooh, that is pretty. That's called flash. How about red? Would that be fun? Probably would contrast with the blue and the purple really nice. So let's try a red. Now, this is a disclaimer. If if you've never done this before, maybe don't. Um, this isn't for your eye. This is for your lip. So they do make pencils, um, that are specifically made for your eye that are red, but red dyes around your eye can be very irritating. Just throwing that out there for everyone. Oh, perfect. I can't do a perfect point. Look at that. That never happens. Red. And again, this may not be for you, so. Oh, I love that though. That adds so much fun drama. Old CC primer. Um, a Dior Air Flash favorite. Mm. Okay, grab my, oh crap. I swear to God, every time I reach for something, everything falls apart. It's because my desk is so messy. Champagne highlighter, and we're gonna pop that on the nose to make sure that nose contour is looking snatched and good. A little bit on the cheekbones. When I say a little bit, I mean quite a bit. I'm gonna use this. I don't even know if they make this anymore. It's called Chroma. It's by um, Lorac. 116 by MAC. Any blush brush really will do. I'm not too specific about my blush brushes. I don't think you should be either. So, this is kind of like a mauve pink matte blush. I'm just gonna work it into the contour and the highlight. So I'm gonna use a lipstick by MAC. It's called Eugenie. It's a matte, it's a dark vampy matte. And most people would use a lip liner with this. I'm gonna be lazy right now and not. Um, that may come back to on me, so let's try it. I did go ahead and prep my lips with some Prep and Prime, where is it? The Prep and Prime Lip by MAC. I'm going to totally ruin this right now and have some wine, but look at this lip color. It matches my wine, it's so cute. So 
So this is also probably, <laughs> I'm absolutely sure actually, this uh, probably isn't a thing, but this is the Vamplify Gloss. Um, again, very old product. I really like it though. I use it like a lot. Whenever I do a vampy lip, I love this gloss. Um, ugh, so pretty. Oof. I love this. I'm going to give myself a mist and I will be right back with the final look. Okay, everyone. So, again, with my patent pending rose water mist. And then a really good fan after that. Here we are, folks. This is the end. This is where we say goodbye. And I go and post some Instagram photos and take this look off. So I hope you enjoyed this look. Um, I hope you enjoy these kinds of videos. Uh, if you don't, please just leave that to yourself. Also, if you feel so inclined, please do share my videos and my channel with other people, um, your family, your friends. Yeah, so I am going to go and drink more wine and then go to bed. So I have just a night planned. Please, like I said, comment, like, and subscribe, share my videos, post them for your friends, post them on your Facebook, post them on your Instagram. So yeah, I will see you guys on the next one, and I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta!